meeting, we actually take up successively chapter 14 and chapter 1. And then after chapter 1, we proceed to chapter we proceed to chapter 14, 1 and the third one. Five. 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 Testing. So we completed the testing. We finished the chapter yeah? on uh, inspection and test. So there are two parts, inspection and test. So there are at least three types of testing. Right? So and because of the type of testing, we are provided with some clue or hint on how we should address the the actual construction of plumbing system how uh, let us uh, review can anybody tell me how we should deal with the actual installation of plumbing system the plumbing system meaning to say piping that connects the devices equipment but the portinance and appliance. So we already know the difference between a portinance and appliance. We already know the difference between sewer, sewerage, and sewage. No? Sewage, sewer, and sewerage. Okay? So those are very important uh, equipment and fixture. My question is, I repeat, after learning, familiarizing with chapter 5, which is inspection and testing, having uh, familiar with the three types of tests, if you are the master plumber in charge of the construction, how would you make sure that it will pass the test? Uh, we already know what type of testing is uh, to be done, what type of inspection are being uh, done by the examiner, by the inspector, by the building official. Okay? So, what uh, extra effort would you provide or what caution would you do in order for uh, your uh, plumbing system to pass the inspection. Uh, anybody? Uh, that is just to what? Uh, the last question before we deal with the actual uh, design and construction because that is the necessary condition, that is the necessary precondition before we can use the building. The uh, system must be inspected in, uh, but pass the test. So I repeat, there are at least three types of tests. So water test, air test, and waste, drainage test. Uh, there are three tests. Okay. And for a uh, water test, what is the minimum pressure? Twenty-nine point four, or uh, can estimate it as thirty psi. And for air test, what is the minimum? 34 point five. Right. So that is the uh, needed information. So what will you do during the construction? If I am the master plumber, even I do not have yet the personal uh, experience. One uh, radio station always says, kailangan ko ba memorize 
They popularized that uh, phrase. Because we already know how to pass, and therefore, let us, because it's about the connection, those parts of the system where leakage is possible. Because we need to raise the pressure to thirty psi. Alright. So how much is thirty psi? Okay. So it's a big, it's a big pressure. Thirty psi is a big pressure because our atmospheric pressure is fourteen point seven. If you can recall, atmospheric pressure is fourteen point seven. About uh, seven psi is uh, already a big pressure. Fourteen point seven. Thirty psi is actually the pressure inside a tire. Okay? And a tire can carry so much weight, the whole uh, vehicle plus the light load. Okay? That is 30 psi. Okay? And uh, in a bigger uh, vehicle like Pajero, 33, 35, and buses, 60, but usually 30 is enough to carry load, okay? That's how big 30 PSI is, okay? So, meaning, connecting one pipe to another is, uh, what, subject to possible or potential leakage. So, Thereby, you have to be cautious on what? Making the connection. If you have an extra one. Teclon. Yeah. Okay? That's how you do it. Because we already know the condition of the stick. And how it is being done. So, from what? From uh, start to the, to the end of the pipe. Okay? Subject to the what? Those are regulation by the book written on that chapter, chapter five. Okay, that's why, in my view, that is the third important chapter when you are studying and you want to learn. Chapter. You really want to learn. The easiest way to learn because it gives us a clue. Now. Uh, which one do you think is the next one? Next one. Okay. What do you think is the next one? In your opinion. So let us proceed to the next one. To the fourth priority. So chapter 3. Chapter 3. Not very useful in board exam, but it also continues the uh, clue that is uh, given on chapter 5 so that is uh, what title general, general regulation so before uh, we deal with the uh, general regulation okay can you get uh, one port into paper let us just uh, check off I will uh, let you feel what is the latest type of question in the board exam. pipe which conveys only wastewater or liquid waste free of fecal matter 
It is a vertical pipe which could base only waste water or liquid waste free of fecal matter. A. Waste pipe. B. Soil pipe. C. Soil stock. D. Waste stock. A. Waste pipe. B. Soil pipe. C. Soil stock. D. Waste stock. Number eight. A pipe which conveys potable water from the building supply pipe to the plumbing fixture and other outlets. A pipe which conveys potable water from the building supply pipe to the plumbing fixture and other outlets. A. Water service pipe. B. Water main. C. Water distributing pipe. Letter D, building water supply pipe. Number 9. Where can you find a plasiometer valve installed? Where? Where can you find a plasiometer valve installed? A. Urinal. B. Bathtub. C. Lavatory. D. Bidet. A. Urinal. B. Bathtub. C. Lavatory. Category D, B, D. Number 10. <coughs> Water which comes from discharges of laundry trays, laboratories, bathtub. Water which came from discharge of laundry trays, laboratories, bathtub. A. Black water. B. Gray water. C. Contaminated water D. Hard water Okay, pass your paper 